Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Calm. Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? Little bit. You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Aw, buddy. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. Was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Red 13 has joined the party. Party game, party XP gained. Okay, I wonder what party level oh, uh, does. If you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. Rook's got a backbone. Hmm. What does party XP do for us? Ah. Speak of. Uh, overcoming challenges, helping people in need, and exploring the world will deepen your party's bonds, increasing your party level. The higher this level, the more skills and abilities will be available in your folios. Would anyone like to tell me what the fuck folios is? Because nobody has yet. <laughs> Feels like they're, they're saying the word, expecting people to know what it is. Oh my god, here we are. Hey, it's the little... Is this the same truck we escaped from Shinra in? I mean, it's not, like, the exact same, but I mean, like, design-wise, is it the same? Looks very similar. Oh my goodness. The Inn at Calm. We do be here. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, it looks so good. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. What's the map look like? Okay, we are right next to some Queen's Blood. We got Ned. Big up Ned. We got Nane? Nini? How do you pronounce that? I don't know if the uh, second one is... Like, is it Nini or... Do you just... Yeah, Neen. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, okay, so behind us we've got the arms dealer. Over here to the left, across the bridge, we've got a bookstore. Well, it is time to have us a good old explore. Hello. <laughs> what do you want? Don't scare me like that. You, you don't want to play Queen's Blood, do you? I sure do. I was hoping that, oh, what am I thinking? You look like you'd murder me. Oh, God, this is too much. I think I'm going to throw up. Bro, I think you yeah, need a lie down. It's perfectly healthy for adults to cry too, you know. <laughs> People call me crybaby Ned. <laughs> because the more tears I shed, the better I get in Queen's blood. <laughs> what? <laughs> Please play around with me. <laughs> oh, amazing. Uh, promotion, we are, wow, uh, uh, our rank is blood servant. All right. Promotion requirements defeat three people. You're my first victim. Uh, right, my deck. Okay, so I haven't really, uh, I haven't, I haven't really got any cards to be, uh, too proud of at the moment, but, uh, oh, we didn't even have the crab. We got the crab in the tutorial, but we don't actually own the crab. We'll get the crab if we beat Ned, I guess. So you can raise the power of a card above it by two, so I've got to be cautious that winning a lane by only two points doesn't necessarily mean that I've won the lane. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to back out. No, 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 no. Yes. Uh, how do I begin match then? Ah, uh, yeah. Start the match. Let's fucking ruin this guy's day. Select the cards you wish to mulligan. If you don't like some or any of the cards you've drawn, you can put them back in your deck. You cannot play high rank cards right away. It's often a good idea to return them to your deck in hopes of getting ones that will help you early on. Indeed. Uh, yes. I should probably mulligan all of these then, I guess. Because <laughs> they're all two rank ones. Uh... Okay, well, it's fine. Boo, boo, boo. Interesting. I just realized this one is for... Like, it's it's doing 
space is two above and two below, so do the, I guess the boards get bigger later on. Because currently... Oh no, I mean, you play it at the bottom and then the top one goes up, I guess, is the idea. I see, I see, okay. Wait, why can't I play this? Oh. Oh, I'm dumb. Oh, I'm so dumb. That didn't do what I thought it did. Oh, fuck's sake. For some reason, I played the little guy up top thinking it was going to put two pawns into the middle. It totally did not put two pawns in the middle. That is not what that did. I completely fucked that up. I completely fucked that up. I think we're fucked. I think we just took a big fat L because I misunderstood what I was doing. Oh wow, I can't even... Oh boy. Oh boy. Actually, no, that doesn't help me right. Uh... Hmm. I guess this is actually the most helpful, even though it's a two slot. I wonder what happens... Ah, shit. Well, we lose. Fuck. God damn it. Okay, well, I did- I did completely shit the bed at the start of that, because I, I- I misunderstood what my card was doing. For some reason I thought it was putting a second pawn into the middle, but it wasn't. It was just boosting the power of the middle. So then I couldn't do the next play I wanted, and then I was fucked. <laughs> uh, right, you can go, and you can go. Alright, once more with feeling. Once more with fucking feeling. Let's go with you first. Interesting. Interesting. Now if I do this... Well, it'll take over his, but then he can play in the top right and take that back over. Hmm. It might be worth to... I think it's worth waiting for him to play in the top right. Well, I mean, he might just play... Hmm. Let's hope he plays in the top right, and then I can play in the top mid, and then take over his pawns, and then he can't play there, and he's fucked in that lane. Although, I might be a little bit fucked in the lane I'm currently in.
Where's it worth playing my little guy? Is it worth playing my little guy here? I guess so. I don't, I'm, I don't have any way of getting a three, do I? This would be so good if I could get a three, but I don't see a way of getting a three. This has a lot of power, but it doesn't give me any way of pushing forwards. So I think we start off with this. I mean, this gives us five power in the lane. This takes us up to seven, so he'd have to get three power into the last bit, which he probably can't do. Oh, shit. Wait, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I fucked it. I'm going to lose again. I'm going to actually lose again. I can't win middle, and I can't win bottom. At least I don't think I can win bottom. Like, I get three power, it takes me up to five, but he's going to get a couple as well, right? He's presumably going to have at least two power. Oh, no! I'm so dumb. I forgot that if he played there, I wouldn't be able to play top mid at all. Oh, my God, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I've lost again. I've lost again. No! Is there a fucking restart? Yeah, there is. Oh my god. This is so difficult. Oh, I wasn't thinking. I forget that he was about to rem I Yeah, I forgot that he had the ability to just remove my option to play at all. <laughs> In that square. Ah! There's so much to keep track of. God damn. God damn. big power up top. We are committing up top hard. Now if I play... Oh no, I can't. That's too cost. Uh, I guess we just do a little bit of that. Cut him. Oh no, I can't do that either. Oh my goodness. Why do all my cards cost so fucking much? Okay, so I'm going to win top lane. So I guess, am I fighting for middle now? He hasn't got a way of placing a pawn down there. Hmm. 
What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Uh, let's just do that to get a pawn down there, I guess. Damn. I was really hoping he wasn't going to do that because then I could play this and capture that square, but it is what it is. I can't get the benefit of that if I do that. I really want to get... Is there any way I can put a second pawn into the center? Is there any way I can put a second pawn into the center? No, there's not. Actually, yeah, there is. By putting this here, then I put a second pawn there, and then I can play that there. Then I can do this. And then I can do this. Finally, we win. Finally. Goodness gracious me. That took too many goes. <laughs> but we got the... We got the Krabby Boy. Very nice. That is very, very helpful because it's only a single pawn. It's, it, gi it gives a buff, but it only is a singular pawn, so that is oh, God, very nice. But uh, I feel a lot better after having a good cry. There's nothing like a game of Queen's Blood to relieve some stress. So true. Speaking of, you look like you've got a lot weighing you down, too. It's written all over your face. Trust me, crying does wonders. You really ought to try it. Oh, yeah, man. I'm a big fan of crying. Okay, uh, let me go to card decks then and just slot that on in. Uh, should we get rid of... Hmm, what should we get rid of? Should we get rid of a queen bee, maybe? I, I have yet to get three fucking pawns on a tile. Like, this is crazy good. It is so much boosted power if you can get it in the center, but it's really hard to get three overlapping thingies, you know? That is a real hard ask. So I think for now... I think I'm going to remove this, uh, and wait, how do I remove this? Oh, edit deck. Wait, what? Oh, didn't I just take that out? This is my deck, right? I just, what? I just removed this card. Hang on, hang on. I, I've clearly messed something up. Quit without saving. Edit deck, right. Here's my deck. Delete magic pot. Yes, there we go. There we go. Add the crab. Good. Cool, that's better. Right. Um, let's, let's continue exploring then. And then go and play another game of Crystal League. <laughs> Not... Was, oh, no. I, I was about to fucking use an FF14 tab. Oh, no. I'm getting I'm getting the Final Fantasy brain rot. Hello. Can I talk to you? No. I'll never forget those steamed buns. The minced meat filling was... Maybe today I'll meet the person of my dreams. Maybe. What are you painting there, bud? That's uh, hey, a good start. On it's missing something. Maybe adding a few flowers from that big hill west. You having fun there? <laughs> 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 
So, how was your trip to Midgar? Did you hit up the honeybee and like? Oh, you bet he did. Yeah, you should have been there, man. This blonde dude slaved the stage like <laughs> Wait, he was in the audience when I was there? They beat his mug and sent him to Corneo's place. That's hilarious. He made it out of there in one piece. I did, man. That is very funny. That is very, very funny. I love that. Bum, bum, bum. Hello. Ah, here's the weapon store. Okie doke. Sell the Casa weapons. Welcome. Damn. That is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Sure is. Seen plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I could show you. Sure thing, buddy. Upgrading weapons. Oh, right. The, the orb thingies that we had in Remake. Yep, yep. Raising your character's weapon levels will unlock more skills, as well as stat boosts. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Upgrading weapons. Accessing the latent power in your gear. Upgrade. Current equipment. Weapon levels. Okay, that's cool. That's a nice menu. I don't think it looked like that last time, right? Uh, lovely. Select node. Oh, interesting. Okay. Increases damage dealt with abilities by 5%. Sure. As you increase your weapon level, you will learn more skills, unlock more nodes. Uh, tweak your skill loadout in the materia and equipment screen. Yep. If you prefer a more streamlined experience, you can opt to automatically allocate skills from the auto upgrade settings menu. Uh, you can choose how to auto optimize your weapon skills using attack, defense, or a balance. As you accrue more weapon skills and nodes, the game will continue to automatically adjust your loadout based on your upgrade settings. See? what I tell you? That girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her, alright? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. New weapons can be found in treasure chests, but should you happen to miss one, the local arms dealer will have it available to purchase. Ah, nice, that's good. Can't miss stuff. Many of these merchants even stock the latest armor and accessories, so check in often. What have you got? The Sleek Saber. 3,000 gil. And I do not have 3,000 gil. Well, that is a fucker to be sure. <laughs> you motherfucker. Is there a compare button? Uh, no. I'm just like, how much, how much damage is that compared to my current weapon? It says it, it says it's stronger, like in the bottom right, it says we're going up to 64 and up to 56. But I don't know, like, how that compares to what I've currently got. I guess I just go to sell. Well, there's no, you can't sell the Master Sword, right? So. Uh, okay. I need Take to find Gil somewhere then. Uh, each weapon comes with a distinct ability. Using this ability repeatedly or meeting its proficiency bonus conditions will increase your proficiency. Max it out to use the ability even when you don't have the weapon equipped. Check it out in the materia and equipment menu. So what is... So that's the, the focus thrust is the Buster Sword's ability. Uh, which, which does a lot of stagger damage. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. Uh... Right, that's the weapon ability. Okay, if we... So, can we set the weapon ability for everyone now? Yes. Uh, makes it harder to be interrupted while using overcharge or max HP by 200. Let's go with the stat boost. He's probably not going to get interrupted that much. I would hope. Tifar. Tifa Tif. Uh, increases the duration of unbridled strength by 50%. Or increases attack power while unbridled strength is active with a 5% boost at chi level 1 and 10% at chi level 2. I don't remember what unbridled strength is. <laughs> is the issue. Uh, is that a... If I go into this, is unbridled strength... No, dive kick is your ability. So what is unbridled strength? I have no idea. Oh, 
spot. Sure. Uh, Aerith. What the fuck is fleeting familiar? <laughs> There's all these things that it's saying, but it hasn't actually explained what they are. I've never heard of fleeting familiar before. Let's just do damage up, I guess. Um, oh, what what material do you come with? You come with Ifrit. free. Nice. Uh, restores HP when activating vengeance mode. Increases counter spin potency. Go with restore HP. That's always handy. Uh... Upgrade weapons. So I need... So I've got 5 SP and I need 25 to upgrade the weapon. Can we... So do we not go into that orb menu anymore? Was that... Was the orb menu removed or... I guess so. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. And then party... I guess this is where I'll be swapping people in and out of the active uh, three. Is it three or four? It's three, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, I better pick me up one of these. Yeah, you better. Or else. Bum, bum, bum. So. Nice. Incredible abilities. 10 out of 10. Were you? Heard the rumors about this Chuck Coffee stuff? Chuck Coffee? Like Chocobo Coffee? What? I want Moogle buns. Me, 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 me. Excuse me, sir, but the tower's not open yet. Sag. Well, that's a Queen's Blood thing. Who's who's going to be here to play it? I love all the like in world music. Hello. Oh god, did I just see I just saw a Queen's Blood enjoyer. Keeping us safe and secure. <laughs> Sorry about your boxes. Sorry about that. Excuse me. That was my <laughs> barricade you just destroyed. That is oh, my bad. Come to admire the Bailey? It is something. Or maybe you're here to get your ass handed to you in a QB match. <laughs> sure. I'm Zahira. A pleasure. Just like Calm's wall, I yield to no one, refusing to give a single inch to my opponents. Don't presume you'll emerge unscathed if you decide to go up against me. Okay, because big talk. You will wind up with more than just a few bruises. That is some big fucking talk. Let's have her. Let's have her. Select the cards you wish to mulligan. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's start off with the classic. Hmm. 
Oh, right, that's a two cost. Um... Okay, let's immediately cut him off down here. Immediately cut him off down here. That's big. That's huge. He's got fuck all places to play now. Oh yeah, it's over. It's over for you, my guy. It's done. Wait. No. Wait. Wait. That didn't do what I thought it did. I thought I was... Oh, I fucked it. I fucked it again. I need to be slower. I, I thought I thought the card I was playing was going to take this space so we wouldn't be able to play here. And so he was just fucked. But it didn't. God damn it. So now I lose this lane. We're drawing this lane. So does that mean we both get the points from this lane? So I need to win by a large amount here to have any hope of actually winning. Because he can't, he can't play any other spaces. Hmm. You know what sucks is if I play my high power card, I can't actually play any card in the second slot. I have no way... The only way I can play a card here is if I play, like, one of these in here. But I guess that would win me overall, right? That would still, I'd still, because that would give me eight here. So he'd get seven from his side. And then we'd both, we'd draw in the middle, and then I have eight from my side, so I'd win. Right? Right, that's how that works. I win by one. Yes. Okay, even though I fucked it up, we still got it. Okay, few, few. What card did we get? Oh god, okay, the Screamer. Interesting. One power, three cost, allows placement all around it. I'm not gonna put that in my deck just because we never get three boards. Who are you? Deep down, I always knew. I knew I couldn't stay holed up in here forever. Walls can keep people safe, but even the sturdiest ones eventually crumble. Okay. <laughs> You're getting a bit, getting a bit deep there. My new wall, as it were, and I am going to enjoy watching you crumble. All right, have a normal one. Very cool. <laughs> yeah, once uh, once we get more cards and stuff. Oh, fuck off, fuck off, Loveless, fuck off, Genesis. Once we start getting more cards, we can start like making a deck that deliberately will allow us to get uh, like three pawns in one place. But it. At the moment, with the Stein cards, it's just it's just not happening. <laughs> it's just not happening. Oh, the music is so good. This place is so beautiful. What a game. What a lovely, lovely game. Hello, and welcome to my humble shop. Hello. What have you got for us? Anything I want? Oh, are you selling? You're selling cards. Ooh. Interesting. It's a thousand gil to get both. Which means I won't be able to buy <laughs> the weapon. But you know what's more important than a weapon? That's right. It's Queen's Blood cards. Hell yeah. Gotta get them all. Gotta catch them all. Appreciate it. Hope to see you again soon. Uh, I will look at setting up a deck with them another time. Uh, how do I get to this? It's like right around the corner. How do I get to the objective marker there? 
I should grab some. All my vegetables are locally sourced. Did I just did I just walk past the entrance? Oh, uh -huh. I, hello, Aerith. I, I totally did just to walk up. past the entrance. Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? It was closed a second ago. Sure. Sure. Let's. For that's real? definitely awesome. yeah. I was gonna say that's definitely something that will Since count towards the idea, gold saucer date. I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? I know a lot of people have like very strong opinions on whether Cloud should be with Aerith or whether Cloud should be with Tifa. I love them both. <laughs> Fucking centrism take over here. I think they're both great and I would be happy to get the date with either of them. So I'm I'm going to be going for points with both. And uh, yeah, whichever whichever one we get is the one we get and I will be happy with it. So, you know, unless, uh, unless we somehow end up getting Barrett and then I'll not be happy with it. <laughs> Cloud's, Cloud's actions affect his relationships with his allies. The strength of these bonds can alter portions of the story. I wonder if it's just the gold saucer or if there's other times that it matters. Press L1 to view a comrade's feelings towards Cloud. With a little, I guess the little lines around the outside of the face are how happy they are with him. So she is... Well, I'm pressing L1, but it's not actually... Maybe it's like a cumulative over time thing. I'll catch up with you later, all right? All right. Yo. Hey there. Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Sure is, buddy. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Okay, folios. Spend skill points at Magnata Books. To augment your party's folios, thus unlocking powers latent in your allies. Customizing folios. Un unlocking skill cores in a character's folio increases their stats or teaches them new abilities, including synergy abilities. Begin tutorial. Yes, please. Select Cloud's folios. Oh boy. Oh Christ, what is this? The orange skill cores can be unlocked by spending skill points. Yup. Move the cursor over the skill core to see what it does. Uh, so this is Firework Blade. Cloud uses Aerith's magic to unleash a ranged attack. That looks sick. Partner with Aerith. Okay. Displays ability granted and SP cost. Now to unlock the skill core. Uh, you have mastered a new synergy ability. As you unlock skill cores, adjacent cores become available. You're free to choose which skill cores to unlock and when, adapting a character's strengths to suit your playstyle. Increasing party level creates more skill cores. Okay. Character will earn SP when they level up or when they acquire manuscripts, such as the art of swordplay. Unlock skill cores can be reset at any time, and the SP spent will be returned. Ah, okay. And that's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. Go to the clock tower when you're ready. All right. Um... I talk to you again. You got anything else? Uh, yeah, we can customize everyone's folio. Okay, I just wanted to see what the other one was up here. So this was one with Barrett or Red. Form a ranged attack with your partner. Activate in sequence. Trigger a three-hit combo. Hmm. And then this is Wind Current. Unleash a wind magic attack without expending MP. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, powerful Punisher increases Punisher mode strong attack by 3%. No thanks. Uh, max HP up. That's just a stat boost. And then we can get ourselves out to here. Ice attack without expending MP. Need record party level 2 for this stuff. Cloud launches Tifa toward an enemy to attack in tandem. That looks fucking cool. Holy shit. Look at that video. Just throwing her at them and then... Oh man, that is very cool. That is very cool. There is a lot. <laughs> there is a lot that can be expanded, huh? Team up with your partner in time with an enemy's ranged attack to unleash a counter strike. Hmm. Barrett, my guy, what is up? Uh, what have we got? 
Barrett and Red 13 hone their focus. Temporary 3 charge ATB gauge. Huh. Uh, team up with your partner to take a strong defensive stance. Iron defense. That gets us into here. Bom 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 bom. Mm. Let's go over here. Mastered Iron Defense. Uh, Tifa, Tifa, Tifa. Leaping strikes, team up with a partner to perform a jumping attack, and that works with multiple people. Works with everyone, so it's probably the one we'll get because it's the most useful overall. Synchro Cyclone, I mean that looks sick as fuck. Temporary unlimited MP, hang on, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, never mind, let's do this. Temporary unlimited MP, oh wait, no. That's not amazing. I forget that MP isn't your lim your limiting factor in this game. ATB is your limiting factor. It doesn't matter if you have all the MP in the world if you don't have the ATB charges to use it. So actually, let's get this one. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, Aerith. Bodyguard. Def ask your partner to defend you while you move about the field. Oh, nice. T Cloud just like teleports over and helps her. Divine Punishment. Tifa makes use of Aerith's magic to deal damage across a wide area. Limit level increase? Yeah, that sounds cool. Look at her bouncing off the walls of that thing. Love to see it. And that just leaves Red. What have you got? Overfang. Barrett sends Red 13 flying towards an enemy at high velocity. Oh my god. That is dope. Uh, wild Charge. Team up with your partner to charge forward while guarding against incoming attacks. I mean, that works with everyone. Sure, let's get it. Let's get it. That's everyone, right? Yes. Very cool. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. Uh, so we need to go to the clock tower for the next main mission. Hello, Baron Kylegate. <laughs> However, I do see a Queen's Blood match over here. Mr. Cuddlesworth. I can't turn the camera to see what she's doing. Oh, there we go. You want to throw down? Let me introduce you to Nene, Master Ventriloquist. Now she ain't much of a talker, but give her a deck of cards and she'll wipe the floor with you so fast, it'll make your head spin. Ready to get your ass handed to you? Well, are ya? So ready. Win and you'll rise in rank. Hell yeah. You now own a card that can lower the power or enfeeble other cards. When a card's power is reduced to zero, it is destroyed, and the position it was occupying becomes empty again. Interesting. There are also cards whose abilities activate only when they're destroyed or enfeebled, therefore sometimes it benefits you to use those on your own cards. Interesting. Okay. Do I want to fuck around with the deck at all then? So what was this? Uh... Oh, it doesn't tell you the ability when you just hover over it. Toggle details. Oh, there we go. When played, add this minion to your hand. Huh. Okay. Uh... No, not that. No abilities. No abilities. Three power, and it creates things in the whole lane, though. That's pretty fucking sick. Uh, lower the power of enemy cards on affected tiles by four. That is big. Uh, lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by three. Interesting. Interesting. No abilities there. That's a weird looking one. Weird looking pattern it provides. Hmm, that one only does things behind it. And that's that one. Okay, do we want to take anything out? Uh, I'm a bit wary to not have one costs, because one costs is like the bread and butter. I haven't been a big fan of this one, honestly. So let's delete 
Wait, do I have two of those? Let's delete those. Let's put in one of you. And let's put in one of you. Let's see how that goes. Yoink. Yoink, yoink. Bum, 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 bum. be allowing that to happen, so let's do a little bit of this, I guess. Mm, do I want to go up or down? Let's do that. Interesting. Let's do that. Wait, what did that do for him? It didn't give him any pawns? What? Oh, you are fucked, buddy. You're done. We actually managed to get a three for the first time. Yeah, he can't play anything now. So it's over. You're out of there. Absolute fucking brutality up in here. Absolute brutality. All oh, right, yeah. Get done. Absolutely obliterated. The triple lane win. They said it couldn't be done. Insanity. We got the cactor. Raise the power of allied cards by three. Okay, that's kind of crazy, but it only works if you play it in the top lane. <laughs> you have to play it in the top lane and then grab something fucking two lanes and one to the right below it. That's a bit of a bit of a specific one, huh? But it is a one cost. So it's like you could play it. You could play it as your first card. in the top left. And then you just need to get a card. Yeah, you know what? That actually could work. <laughs> that actually has potential. Phew, this guy packs one hell of a punch. But hey, you can't win them all. Besides, what really matters is you're brave enough to take on a bone. We're a blood peasant! Boy here. Sometimes you gotta take the L if you're serious about up in your game. Listen hell yeah, dude. You got what it takes to be a champ. I bet my bottom gill on it. 
Now, why don't you show Bloody your appreciation for being such a good sport? Thank you for playing cards with me, mister. <laughs> You're welcome, kid. We became a blood fucking peasant. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of our peasantly ways. We never went down here, did we? Oh, hey, Red. I take it our equipment is in order. Sure what is. What are you doing here anyway? Standing watch. One can never be too careful with Shinra. True. Uh, I knew I could count on you, good boy. I don't know if he'd like good boy. I knew I, I could don't... count on you. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. I feel like I feel like good boy would have pissed him off. So I didn't say that. Leave this to me. That sounds condescending, right? Leaving town is strictly forbidden. You cannot leave calm. I feel like that sounds condescending, so that's why I didn't say that. But it was in the top right, and previously the top right was like the good option, so I'm actually not sure. I'm actually not sure if I should have clicked that or not. Uh, was there anything else to see down here? Anything over this way? Worth, worth seeing? Dunne look like it. Man, what a beautiful place. What an absolutely gorgeous town. I really love how they've translated this from the, you know, tiny little area that Calm is in the original into a full-on just really nice joint. Oh, hey, Tifa. Hello. Uh, morning. I guess that means Barrett's well, around here somewhere, but I haven't run into him. Off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Reminds me of, uh, the water tower. Uh, let's go with the promise. She'll like that. Yeah. The place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. Nice. Okay, I think she liked that. Peaceful town. So maybe I should have said good boy, because it seems like the good option is usually the top right one. It's just that good boy sounded condescending, so I didn't want to say it. But maybe he would have actually liked it. I wonder. I wonder. If it is always just the top right option, then I'll probably just be picking top right, because I, I love all these characters. I want to be best fucking buds with all these characters, you know? So we'll see how it goes. But anyway, that is where we are going to have to leave it for today, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that is uh, that is where we're going to be wrapping things up for this session. When we return, man, two hours in already, crazy, crazy. When we return, we will be uh, heading over to see Aerith at the clock tower. Uh, maybe we'll be able to spot Barrett on the way. I think he's the only one that we haven't spoken to yet. But uh, yeah, that is what we'll be doing next time. I am absolutely adoring this game, guys. I hope you are as well. If you are, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Thanks for watching. See you then.